The world is currently losing animal and plant species at an unprecedented rate, mainly due to the destruction of wildlife habitats around one-third of all species are threatened. When we lose species, we also lose important ecosystem functions that we, as humans, depend on. This is currently being investigated in one of the biggest and oldest long-term projects in a grassland model ecosystem, the Yena experiment. The foundations of the Yena experiment refer back to the outcome of another project, BioDepth, which studied the role of biodiversity loss in grasslands. The results of this study showed that the research plots used in BioDepth were physically too small, and we needed additional zoological and microbiological studies. Plants alone could not explain our observations. And so we began the Jena experiment to follow on from the previous 10 to 15 years of study. Since its inception in 2002, the Jena experiment has been funded by the German Research Foundation. Today, more than 100 people are working on the project. They want to find out which mechanisms influence ecosystem functions and make them stable. On a 10 hectare experimental site, about 600 plots of artificially assembled grasslands are growing. Some are monocultures with one single plant species, while others are grassland mixtures containing up to 60 different species of grasses, herbs or legumes. However, it is not only the number of plant species that varies between the grassland plots. There are also experimental mixtures combining plants based on their different trait characteristics. Furthermore, some plots are covered with a roof to simulate climatic extremes such as drought. The Jena experiment is very special. We are not only investigating the communities of different organisms from bacteria to mammals in great detail, but we are also investigating element cycling, nitrogen, phosphorus and water cycling, and carbon storage. We have been running the experiment for a long time. It has been 15 years now. One of our first results was that plant productivity increased with increasing plant species richness. That means that meadows with higher diversity produce more biomass. Now we want to understand the mechanisms that underlie this effect. The researchers always compare plots containing low plant diversity with ones containing high plant diversity. They not only want to know whether plants grow well together or whether they compete, but also how plants, microorganisms and animals influence each other. They showed that plant diversity had a positive effect on the diversity of other organisms. For example, in species-rich grasslands, there are more species of pollinators, pest increases are less pronounced, and more earthworms are altering the soil structure, allowing plant roots to have better access to rain and soil water. This means that a diverse ecosystem can have a positive influence on functions that are also important for human well-being. For instance, yield increases and soil erosion control. A second important aspect is the role of biodiversity in carbon and nutrient cycling. The researchers collect water samples from different soil depths and analyze the dissolved carbon contents and nutrients. In the laboratory, soil samples are prepared to extract nutrients. Their amount and combination give information on soil fertility and how well plants can access the nutrients. The focus is on phosphorus compounds and different nitrogen compounds, such as ammonium, nitrate and amino acids. Results show that the soil from high-diversity grasslands contains diverse dead plant and root material and that roots release a high variety of organic compounds. 
Microorganisms are benefiting from such a wide resource supply, with increases being recorded in both their diversity and activity. This means that they convert more dead plant biomass and root exudates into microbial products and contribute to long-term carbon storage in the soil. For humans, this has important implications relating to climate change mitigation. Furthermore, a larger pool of nitrogen compounds is available. Especially in species-rich grasslands, plants search for niches to receive nutrients from deeper soil layers. This additionally prevents nitrates from leaching into the groundwater. So, diverse ecosystems are more productive, but are they also more flexible? The researchers got answers to this question after the summer of 2013, when the adjacent Zala River suddenly flooded the whole research area for weeks. When I saw the area after the water was gone, I could not imagine that our experiment had any chance of surviving. Then we made the best of it. We were thinking, OK, when the plots of such an experiment are flooded, all of them, then we need to measure what happens. We measured everything one can imagine. After the results were analysed, it became apparent that diverse grasslands recovered faster. Here, there were more survivors among the many different species. Some even grew better and could compensate for the losses of others and therefore stabilised the system. We have been able to observe that over many years the diversity effects change. These findings have very important implications for the question how important is biodiversity for ecosystem functioning? Until now, we assumed that diversity had a weak or a saturating relationship with ecosystem functioning. This would mean that a loss of species at high diversity would have hardly noticeable effects on ecosystem functioning. But when we look at the long-term data, we see such strong effects that biodiversity affects different processes almost linearly, and this means that over time we would notice the loss of every single species in an ecosystem. The Jena experiment as a unique long-term project shows why diverse ecosystems are more productive and more stable than simplified ecosystems. In the future, in addition to plant diversity, researchers also want to manipulate the diversity of other organisms of the food web, and they aim to compare their results with other experiments across the world. To understand bit by bit ecosystems and their merit as a whole before they are fundamentally changed,